Jennifer Griffin left out one issue that we'll be fighting about for the next 50 years, and that's trees. So you might want to add that. But she also said something that she thinks the city is divided against itself. And personally, I don't see that at all. The CCSGI neither establishes nor increases building heights in Cupertino. Now, I know you've heard a lot of people here tonight from the developer side that claim otherwise. And surprisingly, they all use almost exactly the same language, almost as if they're reading from a list of talking points that someone provided to them. Because it's pretty clear from Stewart's presentation and from the October 2015 GPA that no building heights are increased and a higher height limit is not established either. So what is tonight's meeting really about? First, the developers want to use the word increase because it's pejorative. They know it's untrue, but it's all they've been able to come up with to fight the CCSG initiative, which is a pretty good testament to how well the CCSGI was written. There's no unintended consequences. Everything's perfectly clear. Second, quote, outside the special area, that statement greatly concerns developers because it puts the LU1 map squarely under the domain of the citizens' growth initiative. So the power to control the density would rest with the residents and would be outside the direct control of the developers. There's been a suggestion that this meeting be ended and nothing be changed, but personally, I think the ballot summary does need to be changed because the word establish is incorrect. It needs to be rewritten to re remove any notion that the initiative increases heights or establishes higher heights because it does neither. Thank you. Thank you.